So after I like, <laughs> the freaking brush just broke. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay, but I also go by Shady XOXO. And if you guys are new, then welcome. Hit that subscribe button down below, and also hit the notification bell in the right hand corner so you never miss a video that I upload. Today, we're going to start off with my Shady Watch Me Work series. Uh, this is a new series that I'm trying out, it's basically just doing my makeup and you guys are watching i'll incorporate some new products and every other week um that i do these videos i'll just like exchange products and we'll just talk about it so that's what today's video is if you are interested in seeing that then go ahead and hit that like button down below and keep on watching the primer that i'm going to use today that's been like a game changer in my makeup is this um Maybelline primer yes 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 I know some people are not gonna like it because this is like a silicone based primer but I mean those work for me so and also well I feel like primer wasn't working because I don't feel like I was putting it in the right areas like I feel like I was putting it all over my face and I just that just wasn't working. That just wasn't working. So I just use about this much. If you guys can see the shininess on this finger, I'm ashy. Never mind that. I'm just gonna put it on my nose and right here. And my T zone just like right here. I'm gonna go in and do my eyes now. Um, I grabbed this shirt and if you guys like this shirt then just stay tuned because I am doing a fashion haul from a very popular fashion brand. <laughs> so you guys just stay tuned for that. You will see this shirt and many other pieces of clothing. But I grabbed this shirt and then I got really inspired to do my eyes like this shirt kinda. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I need to buy more makeup palettes because... I just using the same ones. I'm gonna pull from the Morphe 35B palette. That's like a really a staple in my makeup because it has like every freaking color you could think of. So I'm gonna be using that. And then I'm also gonna be pulling from the Jacqueline Hill palette because like why not? So guys, that is the look on the eyes. 
So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the um the green on it and then it has like little specks in the corner. So I'm gonna be using this elf liner in the color jet black. I believe this liner is about three dollars. Just gonna quickly line my eyes. I'm gonna try to do it on camera, but my battery's dying. I didn't do good on the eyeliner. Let's just let's just call it spade a spade. Call it is what it is. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes and then we're gonna get started on the face. And I have some new face products to use today, so you don't wanna miss it. Hey guys, so I did my lashes off camera. Um this one lifted a little bit, but we're going to act like we don't see that. And I'm going to go in and use foundation. So since I'm going to be using the CoverGirl um, concealer, I thought it would be appropriate to use this CoverGirl foundation. Now, I haven't used this in a while, but when I did use it, I do remember it being like, you know, very good. It is the True Matte um, Blend Formula foundation from the back of my hand. And just going to be putting that all over my face. I noticed that we're using a brush for my foundation. It works a lot better in like the coverage. See, look, this is way too dark. I cannot match my foundation. Like, somebody help me. If you guys check my last video out when I tried out the Juvia's Place foundation and concealer, which that video was almost a fail, but you know me. I made it work because that's what I do. I make it work. And, um,. Yeah, their look actually came out pretty bomb. I'll insert a picture right here of what it looked like, but yeah. Anyway, if y'all guys ain't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram for my Instagram name right here. Go follow right now because I'm pretty lit over there. Now that I have that blended out, um, sometimes I wet my beauty blender like with water and sometimes I just use setting spray like... I don't really be caring that much. And I'll move it up. Making it a little bit lighter, but it ain't gonna be that much lighter. And this is not, this is some beauty blenders I bought from TJ Maxx. So y'all, they are not the best. So that's why I really am not blending it out with a beauty blender and I was using a brush because, mm -mm. Okay, so now that it's blended out, and it is matte, that's what I like about it. So it's not real shiny. And I like my overall face to be matte. And a couple areas like the highlighted areas which we're about to do now to be shiny so that's why i use i like matte foundations so i don't think this is going to be enough to brighten but i think it can conceal so i might have to add another foundation i mean another concealer which i think i'm going to add so just to show you guys this up front this is the covergirl uh, what is this one called? True Blend Undercover Concealer. And this is in a shade D700. This is Cappuccino is the color. D700, yeah. So I'm just going to put that on the normal spots that I highlight. Which are... Under my eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour... To contour, the darkest thing I found that can contour my skin tone, um, it could be a little bit darker. And undertone could be a little bit more neutral. This is more red, but this is the best thing i found so far. If you guys have anything else, if you other dark skin girls watching this video, and you have something else that you use, maybe it's a powder, a cream, whatever. I prefer like a stick, a cream, but maybe a powder is what I'm looking for. If you have that, then um, drop it down below and... Um, yeah i could check it out but this is the makeup revolution um this is their stick foundation and this is in the shade f18 so just want to show you guys what the packaging looks like so if you don't have it and you are thinking about using it this is what the packaging looks like and like i said it's in the shade f18 and it's like a traditional stick foundation that you just roll up yes so then I just put this, honestly, right under where I'm going to highlight. And that helps me when I'm blending out the highlight. Just to not have it look, I don't know, just to not have it look 
so like washed out and that's for a little on my forehead i put some around my chin too i literally let this sit for like five minutes not not i'm lying i let it sit for minute. i let this sit for probably about no i probably didn't do five minutes literally it wasn't even that long oh my god look at this conceal no oh my god uh this isn't working this isn't working i'm just gonna come back to you guys when i have it all blended out because my arms are hurting from doing this and then uh, I'll, I'll get back to you i'll get back to you okay guys so i did go ahead and blend in the concealer off camera and i do really think the concealer is very pretty the only con i have is you have to work really really fast now i do not like working fast with my concealers i like letting them sit taking my time so if that's just me, then you better, literally, you better get faster because it is not going to work out. But wetting the sponge, how much use water setting spray really does work. And I really do feel like it um, saved the look. So I'm just going to go in and um, set that powder contour. I'm just going to use this um, Black Radiance palette. I know they have a new one, the Deep dark or dark to deep something like that but i still have the old one so i'm just gonna use what i got set that in place um no particular way there's no right no wrong just setting that and then a little on the forehead what's left over and now I'm going to be using a new product, which I'm so excited to talk about because usually when you do makeup reviews, a lot of people already talked about the product. So it's kind of hard for people to come to your channel for something like, you know, they haven't seen before. But I have not seen this powder on anyone's channel lately. And that's because it is old, but it just looks so interesting to me. So this is the Hydra Perfect, Perfecti, Hydra Perfect. So, I don't even know this powder by L'Oreal. Now, I don't have many L'Oreal products. I don't really dibble and dabble in L'Oreal, but this is in the shade Medium 918. And this is actually a loose perfecting setting powder. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this pointed um, brush. And this is actually from the BB Collection. I got this from... Um, Burlington, believe it or not, I bought some makeup brushes from Burlington. It was actually the shit. So, anywho, it's gonna take that under the eye, and it is very brightening. So, be advised. Oh my god, it smells so good! Like I can't even. You know how air spawn spray. Air, air spun spray. Yeah, I know how air spun smells. That's what I meant to say. It smells like air spun. So I went ahead and um, set the rest of my face using the Fenty Beauty um, powder. I don't even know what it's called. It's the Pro Filter powder, and this is in the shade Coffee, which is the darkest one yet. <coughs> I just use that. Just set the rest of my face. I also went ahead and contoured my nose because I don't know how I forgot that. And I have a piece of hair on my lip. Look how dirty my hands are. I'm going to go ahead and set the face and add blush, highlight, lips, and get it all wrapped up. So I'm just going to take a random palette and cover my eyes and set the rest of my face. I know I'm not the only one to hold their breath while they do setting spray. Woo! Yes, honey. Go ahead and let that dry down. So I'm going to dip into the Juvian's Place Sahara Blush Palette. This is the second volume, as that looks like. And I usually end up just using these two shades, mainly this shade because it looks so good on me. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. No, not this Leanna shade. I use, I'm sorry this two shades back and forth and that's really the only 
reason why I use this palette is those two shades. And I just put a low color on sheet, none too crazy. And sometimes I do go a little crazy, like right there, the nerd is going a little crazy. Then I just take a brush that I know has like foundation, like powder on it. And I just like beat it down some, so. It ain't so light. Old and nude and no pretty packaging. I really like it. And yes, I just used the last two at the bottom. The morning after and losing sleep. So morning after and losing sleep. And then I just do it. Um, Today I'm really feeling like using the ColourPop palette. Not this. I'm going to use the darker one in here. And as in my highlight, I usually just take like a tapered eyeshadow brush. And that's what I use. Um, so I learned a trick for my highlight. So don't you hate like when you look at people? Like if I look at you dead on, I don't want to see your cheek highlight. So you see how you can see me dead on and you cannot see my cheek highlight. But then I turn and you like, girl, you beaming. I'm going to blend it out. But the trick to doing that, you just want to put it like right here where you're like looking at you right here. I can't see this. So this is where I'm going to stop putting the highlight. And then I just only put it like up to here. I hate when you look at people, you go like, see the highlight? I'm like, child please now. I'm not child please. I'm going to forgive a lot about your makeup. Because some people just don't know how to do it. But I ain't going to forgive that. Now, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, you just look at your face straight on. This is like the part where, you know, I can't really see. And then you just... Take it up just a little. So there you go. You just have that blinding highlight. Just a little bit. Like, I can't even believe that. What the fuck? Cheap ass. Oh, cheap ass brush. Oh, no. I, that just really... <laughs> just, like, what? Lip liner and... Um, Coco, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. <music> NYX, NYX sponsor me. I'm using all NYX lip products for the lip, but NYX lip products are banking. Another product that I love from NYX. Anything from their line, if you get anything, get the butter glosses. This is in the color praline. This is my favorite um, butter gloss that they have. I just really love it. And then by smearing that, it really does create those two shades that light brown and dark brown that I use. It really. Marries the two colors together. Shimmer lip gloss. And I like this because it has little reflective iridescent colors in it. And it has like a little pink hue. So I'm just going to use a little of this. You know, just to get the effect I want. And guys, that is the final look. My camera is about to die, so sorry if this is rushed. It's about to die and it's overheating at the same time. That's crazy. Anyway, it's your girl, Shady XOXO. I hope you guys love this look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this look. Also, give it a big thumbs up if you like any of the products that I recommended. And I will see you guys in my next video.